Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer Huber, also known as Solo Travel Girl. And since June of 2022, I've been using Monjaro to manage my type two diabetes. And what's happened to me in this past year has been amazing. I have lost about 60 pounds. My A1C has gone down from 8.2 to 6.1. I no longer have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. My blood pressure and cholesterol numbers look awesome. And I have this newfound confidence and more energy and it feels like I can do things that I didn't realize that I couldn't do before. It's just been amazing. So I am sharing this experience with you and before I get into this week's update, I just want to share with you my disclaimer that I am not a healthcare professional and I'm just sharing my personal experience and opinion about using Manjaro. Also, I am not being paid by anyone to make these videos. I have no relationship with Eli Lilly. And also something that was brought to my attention in a comment, and I'm sorry I didn't see the comment until now, it was posted a couple weeks ago. Now I haven't seen the actual message, but apparently my image, a picture of me is being used to promote um, pharmacies using Monjaro. And I have no relationship with any company um, related to Monjaro at all. Yes, I have been approached by at least three companies um, wanting me to be like a spokesperson or wanting me to share links and encourage people to purchase Monjaro through their pharmacy. but. I said no to those. I've turned those down and I have no relationship with any company related to Manjaro other than my pharmacy where I go pick up my Manjaro and my healthcare provi provider who prescribes my Manjaro and that's Dr. Madeira in Port Charlotte. So now that we have that over the way, I injected myself with uh, the 53rd dose of Manjaro this past week. So week 53, that means I am entering year two on Manjaro. I hope I can continue Manjaro beyond August. That's when my um, pre-authorization from my insurance company will reevaluate whether I can be on Manjaro. But I, um, I finished up a month at the five milligram dose and I'm back on 10 milligram dose because that's what the pharmacy had. They didn't have, they said they couldn't get 7.5. They said they couldn't get 12.5, so here I am back on 10 milligrams. I injected myself on Friday. I did have some side effects yesterday. I did feel nauseous, and last night especially, I felt nauseous. Um, I went to the movies yesterday. I met up with a friend. We went to a 10, 10 a.m. showing of the new Indiana Jones movie. I loved it. I remember going to the movie theater with my family and my neighbors to see Indiana Jones and you know, I got a big crush on Harrison Ford and it was just a fun, fun movie. You know, it references the other previous films and it was just a lot of fun. But I had popcorn for breakfast and then afterwards, my friend and I, we went out um, for lunch afterwards. And this is the topic of today's video is food and how my relationship of food has changed. However, I had lunch. Um, I actually ordered the small portion of fish and chips. And then I really didn't eat much when I got home. Oh, we did go out for ice cream. I got a small scoop of that. And then I had some watermelon when I got home. And then last night, I just wasn't feeling very well. I was feeling very nauseous. But I didn't get sick or anything, just kind of that blah feeling and I didn't take anything, but it subsided. I feel okay today. I don't quite feel 100% and I have a theory as to why not. But, um, so that's my, that was my day yesterday and that's how I'm feeling and this is where I am at week 53. I did lose three pounds this week. I'm back down to 134. It was 137 last week. I'm 134 this week. I didn't take my glucose numbers except for today. I did get a new glucose monitor that will sync with my iPhone. I still need to prick my finger in order to take my glucose reading. I, I'm not wearing a glucose monitor, but it was 110 this morning, which I think is okay. And exercise this week. I had my boot camp on Monday. I cut my grass uh, two days this week, the front lawn and then the backyard and then just all my walking. And today, as you can see, I'm not in my living room. I'm actually at the Peace River Botanical and Sculpture Gardens in Punta Gorda, Florida. This is the Peace River behind me. And you know, it is so, so hot in Florida this whole week. Um, 
I used to live in Death Valley. I spent a year and a half there that included two summers because I started working and living there in July and I left there the following December. And this reminds me of Death Valley hot. I know Death Valley is a dry heat and then Florida is more humid, but just with the heat index, this just reminds me of Death Valley, just how it's so stifling and heavy. And But I am outside at the Peace River Botanical and Sculpture Gardens. It is very quiet here. I imagine other people are finding other things to do other than being outside. And that's kind of how I went to the movies yesterday. I actually wanted to go out kayaking and there's some kayaking um, places that I want to still check out and when the actually paddleboard take my inflatable paddleboard but it's just been so hot so my friend and I we just opted to do an indoor activity all right so let's get into this week's topic I wrote it out for you so these are my bullet points in that so I don't ramble you know I tend to ramble but these are the eight ways how my relationship with food has changed after a year year of using Monjaro to manage my type 2 diabetes number one portion control you know what I am satisfied faster than what the old me would meaning I understand portions better. You know, I understand that meat shouldn't be bigger than a deck of cards or the, uh, the palm of your hand. I understand, you know, really should bulk up on vegetables and fruits and healthy grains. So Manjaro has helped me understand and appreciate portion control. You know, I've mentioned before how I met with a nutritionist several, year, several years ago. I actually won a, um, a session with a nutritionist through Coca-Cola at a blogging conference and I ended up hiring that nutritionist. Her name is Nora Clemens. She was in Sarasota and she is wonderful. She helped me lose the weight. She helped me understand what I need to do. Unfortunately, I crept back up in weight because I, I stopped going to her. I didn't have that accountability. However, when I started this journey with Manjaro, I remembered the things that she told me and about portion control and you know, good gave me some good ideas as to what I could have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner so I could eyeball, you know, how many calories something is. And this is why I love smoothies. She turned me on to breakfast smoothies and I kind of use that foundation into my, to other smoothies that I make. So I recently met with a nutritionist through my employer and it was just good getting that foundation. She basically said that I'm on the right track with things, but it was just good having that reassurance. She was a little concerned that Perhaps I'm not eating enough, even though I feel that I'm overeating. She obviously thinks that, that I'm not overeating. So the number two thing um, that has really changed with Man Manjaro and food is that things taste different. You know, while I still have cravings for food, when I act on it, a lot of times it just tastes like cardboard. So when it doesn't taste very good, I don't want to eat it. So at first I thought that maybe was a side effect of COVID, but once my taste did come back after COVID about a month, three weeks to four weeks after I had COVID. And then I've just noticed in the last few months that things just don't taste the same, that especially processed foods just are not flavorful. Um, the number three thing is that, yeah, I still am hungry at the end of the week. So I'm still adjusting to that. Now that I'm back on the higher dose of 10 milligrams, perhaps that's not gonna be as noticeable, but at the end of the week, yeah, I, I'm still still hungry. And so I just remember, need to keep in mind uh, portion control and just the mindset that it's okay to have party days, so to, so to say. And um, yeah, I still I work out a lot and my trainer, he would talk about the importance of having a party day in your, um, in your menu once a week, just so it kind of mixes up your body or that it tricks your body, so to say. So your body isn't, you know, just doing the status quo and then it just gives it something, something different to process. So I still have that hunger at the end of the week, but I think I'm doing okay in managing that. And uh, my nutritionist thinks so as well. The fourth thing, this goes back to the, um, the processed foods, whole foods. I don't mean whole foods from the grocery store. I mean, natural foods they taste so vibrant now fruits and vegetables they just taste so so good to me now fresh fruits and veggies or even if they're steamed or i'll do them in the air fryer as well but just those those flavors are just so wonderful right now it's mango season and watermelon season in florida and 
it just tastes so so good so those are the good things for our bodies the fresh the fresh fruits and vegetables so i'm gonna you know, work on adding more of those into my uh, nutritional plan not my diet my nutritional plan so the fifth item that has changed in my relationship with food since being on manjaro is that eating to socialize is different um, First off, I get a lot of friends or even coworkers who who ask when we go to a restaurant is, oh, can you can you eat this? Or is there something here that you can eat? Is this on your diet? Well, you know what? I'm not on a special diet. Yes, I am being more mindful as to what I eat because I my body cannot manage a whole bunch of food. So I want to be mindful as to what I'm consuming and what I that that what I'm consuming is good for me and that it's nutritious. So that always sparks conversation. You when I go out to eat, people do frequently ask me about whether I can can eat that. Um, you know, food is just a great connector with us. It's a way to share tradition and to create memories and to create conversation as well. But um, you know, if there's a big meal, as I mentioned before. I don't feel the pressure to, to, to eat it all. I also don't feel the pressure to order an entree. If someone else is ordering an entree, I'm okay with ordering something small, whether it's a cup of soup or an appetizer or something. I don't feel that, that pressure to order the same thing that everyone else is eating. And not only is that good for my body, it's also good for my pocketbook as well, is that I'm, I'm spending less. Which leads me to the other point, the sixth point is that, yeah, because I am eating differently, I'm eating more nutritious and I know there's a conception that more nutritious food costs more, but I'm eating less. So this is really, I can see it in my bank account. The uh, seventh way, my dog is a little bit healthier because yeah, I do share things with my dog and because I'm eating less or I'm eating things that he doesn't necessarily like, like watermelon, for instance, I brought out watermelon yesterday and I'm eating it and he's sitting there begging. And then when I give him a little piece, he just spits it out. So he doesn't like fruit. I've tried other fruits as well. Sometimes I can hide blueberries, but he doesn't like fruit. So anyway, he's lost a few pounds as well. So that's good for him because, well, that's a long story as to how he got to his weight. But anyway, my dog is healthier because I am healthier. And the eighth way, this is really about beverages. This is alcohol. I was a casual drinker. Maybe I'd drink one or two drinks a week, whether it was with uh, socially or at home, but I don't have the stomach for it now and I can't hold alcohol very well anymore. Now, if I'm out at a social event, to be social, when I don't feel the pressure to have alcohol, I have gotten like um, you know, club soda and cranberry juice with a little hint of lime, or I'll just drink a diet soda or just drink water. Or if I do want to have alcohol, I will make a glass of wine or a hard seltzer last the whole event. I, I, I can't handle alcohol anymore and that could just be me. But even if I have one glass the next day, I just feel so off. I feel hungover. I feel just blah. I don't feel like a productive person. And it just doesn't make me feel good at all. And I just don't have any joy out of alcohol, which in a way makes me sad because, you know, I love my um, <laughs> love moonshine but I just have a different relationship with it now. I just, I just can't drink it. You know, I do enjoy wine. I have a whole wine rack and it's probably gonna last me the, less, the rest of my long, long life. But I just have di different relationships with alcohol now. And I know that's healthy for me. I know that's a good thing. And I am just going to appreciate that. So those are the eight ways that my relationship with food has changed since being on Manjaro. If you've been on Manjaro, do you have these same issues or concerns or victories? 
as well as I do? Or is there something different that I didn't mention that your relationship with food has changed? Let me know in the comments. All right. Well, I just want to again say thank you for being here. I do appreciate you and I hope you're having success on Manjaro, whether you've been on it for months or more than a year like I have or whether you're starting on your journey. I do wish you much, much, much success. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I do appreciate your input and remember to be kind to others, but importantly, be kind to yourself. Have an awesome week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey again, so after I finished up this video and hopped in the car, I got thinking of a ninth way that my relationship with food has changed since being on Manjaro. And that is, I'm at peace at eating unhealthy foods. I'm not feeling guilty about it. And I had that validation with my nutritionist recently. I told her that I was on the quest to make a like a low sugar some more and that I attempted to make my own marshmallows you know with the uh, chickpea juice and she just said just eat the marshmallow and you know that that means it's good to have that validation so I don't feel guilty if I do run through the McDonald's drive through or Dunkin Donuts or someplace because I know I'm not doing it every day I'm not doing it for every meal that everything is okay in moderation so you know I'm better at giving myself grace and not feeling guilty about eating things that aren't considered healthy or aren't considered being diabetic friendly. Hey, it's me again. I forgot to say happy birthday, America. I hope everyone has a wonderful Independence Day. I actually have to work tomorrow, but I have Tuesday off for Independence Day. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.